I believe all of us should have a favorite atheist or a favorite non-believer or perhaps a favorite heretic. Uh, somebody who goes against the very things that we believe. And the reason I think this is because it sharpens us. My favorite atheist is Friedrich Nietzsche. Friedrich Nietzsche believed a lot of things about humanity, namely that humans were the sole source and understanding of all of life. He came up with ideas and concepts such as the human Superman, that humans are going to rule and have power over other humans. The reason, however, why Nietzsche is my favorite atheist is because he was honest. And what he was honest about was this. He said, the Christian God is dead. But then he said, if the Christian God is dead, then so is the Christian ethic. He said, you cannot go on to say, you should love your neighbor as yourself because the Christian God is dead and therefore that ethic, that should, is also dead. The reason why I'm bringing this up and how does our belief affect daily life is that some of us who are Christian educators think this way. We believe things like this, that all truth is God's truth. And it doesn't matter whether or not it's come from an atheist or not. And so when we think about this, if we think about all of this large circle as being God's truth, then we understand that all truth, whatever the truth is that we discover around us, is all dependent upon the truth that God has established in his world. There cannot be any truths in the world that we know unless there is a God who has first given us truth. And so, one of the key components to understanding all of daily life in our belief system is that all truth is God's truth. It has come from God, and therefore it informs and helps us to understand all of our daily lives.